Hello everyone, today I'm showing you how to make a simple Terra Orb from the newest Pokemon games. We aren't going super detailed or accurate, instead this is a fun little project you can do with your kids this holiday season. So let's get started. The reason I say holiday season is our first part will be a fillable ornament. You also need scissors and paint. We'll need purple. I'm using royal violet as that seems pretty appropriate. Then some white, some cyan, and some gray. You'll also need some brushes obviously. And a sheet of EVA foam from the craft store. So grab a nice warm drink and the first thing we'll need to do is cut these loops off of the ornament. Be careful, both for your own safety and so that you don't crack the ornament. If there's a little bit of the tab left, that's okay. It'll be covered in foam later. Now, we need our gray paint and a small brush. We're going to paint three gray rings on the inside of our orb. If it's not perfect, you can use your fingers, a cotton swab, or a clean brush to touch it up. Worst case, you wash it all out and try again. Mine isn't super pretty, but it's good enough for now, and we'll touch it up even more in a little bit. Next, we need a scrap of plastic. It could be trash, like from a package, or really anything else. I'm using this card sleeve because it's what I happen to have around and have extra of. We want to make sure to cut it down to a size that's going to fit in our orb. I'm using the orb here to measure out just for the ease of things. And then after it's cut down to size, we're going to cut it a little bit more in order to get it to a less square shape because the crystal is taller than it is wide. I'd recommend a ruler to measure out the actual shape. We want a tall hexagonal crystal, and hexagons can be pretty tricky to cut. I should have done more measuring on mine and less guesswork, but with some trial and error, I got it to a pretty decent shape. Now we are ready to paint it. We want to start with the white inner star pattern. I know, I should have used a dark sheet of paper to make it more visible here, but just sketch out the basic shape with your paint and we can again touch it up later. You're not going to have a perfect coat either, you'll probably have to do a couple passes. Sanding the plastic might help a little bit. Now let's break out that foam. We need two thin strips to go around the center of the orb. One can stay any color, but the other will need to be painted gray. I should have put down paper again to prevent the mess. While all that dries, we should be able to go back and touch up our orb a little bit. Once it's dried just a little bit, we can scrape the paint from the smooth surface and add a bit more as needed to get the look we want. When it's at that stage where it's just a little dry, it can flake off of the smooth plastic pretty easily. And now we leave it all to dry. 
After a bit, we can come back in and give our crystal a second coat of that white to touch up the shape as well as fill in any gaps that may have gotten missed. Now setting that aside, we can give our orb a coat of purple. Again, using Royal Violet, because that seemed very appropriate. We'll just squirt some into our ball and spread it around evenly. We aren't going to get perfect coverage. Again, it's smooth plastic. We might need a second coat, but we can always come back and do that later. One more break for it to dry, and now we can come in and fill the sides of the crystal with cyan and get another coat in the orb. With the cyan, you can overlap the white a bit because the other side of the crystal is what would be visible from the front. After that dries, we can start assembly. First, glue the crystal into the bottom of the orb. Any glue, or even tape, will work, but I'm using hot glue for speed. And now we attach the top. Then, starting from the front, we're going to glue the non-painted foam strip to the seam, working our way all around, gluing as we go. Then, we'll add the painted strip on top of that in the same way. Finally, we cut down two little pieces of foam into hexagons, paint them gray, and add them to the front as the little button thing over the seam. And we're done. Again, it's not perfect, and I'll likely revisit a more detailed version later. This is just a cheap, easy project for you to do with your kids during their holiday break. I hope you have fun with it, and happy crafting!